Hello everybody, it's Vertical Sandwich. Welcome back to Let's Play Broken Age. And we have a bucket. We're gonna hang it on this tree branch. Oh, and now you're decorating me like a Christmas tree? Is there no end to the humiliation? Hey, can I have some of your sap? You're just like the rest of them. You want to bleed us dry, steal all our thick, luscious, and incredibly useful fluids. You humans make me want to throw up, but I won't do it, because I refuse to give you the pleasure of my sap. I'll let you get back to your screaming. Yeah, please leave before I vomit, you foul, rootless stump. So, uh, to make him vomit, we just gotta show him the stool. You know, that Curtis looks like such a slacker, but he sure can bust out a solid stool. That's horrible. Sorry to do this to you, but... Oh my god, is that mutilated tree flesh? You see, what Curtis does is he peels off the outer layer of the wood <laughs> to get to the tender stuff inside. <laughs> then he dips the whole thing in an acid bath <laughs> before he begins the deep carving. <laughs> oh, sorry, did that upset you? You monster! <laughs> it's there is something really great about how how into that she is. I'll let you get back to your screaming. Yeah, please leave before I vomit, you foul, ruthless stump. Okay. Here, this will make your sand mixture stick together better. Really? How do you know? I'm a baker. I know my ingredients. At this point, I'd try anything. Hey, Clarence! Bring that load down here, will you? I hope you're right about this. It's never failed me before. How many times have you used it? Never. Shh. Let's watch. <laughs> She's great. Here comes a wave. I can't look. What'd I tell you? Now that's a sand castle. Looks like we're in business. Ladies and gentlemen, it's showtime. So now it's time oh, what to do girls Yeah, we have to take out his legs. Fire away! No good! His mouth is closed! Hmm, I don't remember how to get his mouth open. Oh, yeah! Oh no! Gotcha. Take the shot! It's charging back up. Fire away! I 
could beat you with one arm tied behind my back, but not two. Oh, I see. Hit it. So that's why we have to get down to one tentacle. No good. Do it. Fire away. Okay. There we go. Whoa. Get ready to fire that thing. Do it. Die, you monster. Die quick. Or we're going to have a meltdown up here. There you go. Beautiful. Now, when I played this the first time, I guessed that Shay was Mog Chathra, but I also had not had the conversation with the mom computer about how... about the sacrifice girl. So I didn't know that it was setting you up to believe that... Like, it, it, it's weird, because, I mean, things are still strange, and they're going to get stranger, but now we actually have to solve puzzles all the way out of the environments on each side again. We're halfway through the game right now. The puzzles will get way harder. But this is brilliant symmetry. Brilliant. So, we're going to start with Shay. Son? Son, are you okay? There's been some sort of a accident. Are you hurt? Where's your mother? Shay! You must still be in shock. Uh... Shay, you need to snap out of it. <laughs> Whoa, huh? Who? Uh? Who? Our ship has crashed. Your mother's still inside. We need to get her out. <laughs> Gary? <laughs> Splark? <laughs> Bridgeman? <laughs> Splark, just help me out of this sand, will you? That girl. Who are you talking about? Never mind. I'll get myself out. Yeah, there you go. How did you shrink your head? You need to calm down, son. There's been an accident, and your mother is still trapped. My mother? But you're... You're not... She's really... 
Yes, she's really in there. And no, I'm not going to leave her behind. We're going to get your mom out of there. My mom? I know we haven't seen you much in person lately. It's just that I've been busy outside the ship, or, well, what I thought was a ship, in what I thought was space. We weren't actually in space? The point is, your mom is still inside the thing, and she's not responding to my calls. Help me find a way to get back on board, will you? Sure. Dad? So... you're really... Yes. I'm really trying to get back in here. I know it's on fire, but your mother's still inside. Yeah, it, it's like... This game goes to great lengths to not tell you his parents are really on board, right? And they are. <laughs> like, it's amazing. Like, this was the moment when I played the game the first time where I was like, I'm, I, I'm let's playing this. Like, without a doubt. So, and I know this is not the, 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 probably the right time for this, but we need to taste our father. Think you could pry it open with a spoon? Is it as tall as a man and made of steel? Yes! In my heart I am! Oh. <laughs> Wait a minute! Can we taste Mark Chothra? Are you with me, Spoon? If this strange new world has food to eat, then I shall still serve it to you, Commander. Okay! I mean... I guess I always knew my parents were people. It's just been a while since I thought of them that way. Yeah, I guess I always knew my parents were people. Yeah, well, I didn't. I did not know your parents were people. So, if we weren't actually in space... And no, 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 we weren't. And where were we is a great question. So, some things we can do. Oh, what's that smell? I wonder if I could bend this spoon into a fish hook. I hope you're kidding, sir. So anyway. Hi, I'm Shay. I'm Carl. No, wait. You know what? Carol. My name is Carol. Nice to meet you, Carol. What are you doing? Taking a break from the husband, the kids, and that darn cloud we live on. I'm trying to enjoy a little fishing here, but having some setbacks. Fish aren't biting? No. Some nitwit stole every hook in town. I'm trying to twist this wire into a hook, but it's not working out. Did you say you had wire? I have a bunch, but I'm using it all up trying to make these dang hooks. You lived on a cloud? Yeah, but it's not as nice as it sounds. Trapped up in that fluffy, soft world, never able to leave or do anything real. I can relate. Actually. Did you see that big thing crash down out there on the beach? Mog Chothra? Yeah. Good riddance. Don't have to worry about that pain in the neck showing up and eating our girls anymore, I guess. <laughs> okay. Did you say Mog Chothra ate girls? <laughs> Did you say Mog Chothra ate girls? Are you sure he wasn't rescuing them? Rescuing? <laughs> From what? Their loving families? Well, good luck and good fishing, Carol. Or to stay fishing beats the best day in a cloud cult. <laughs> that's all that's very funny. And I just love I love his reaction where he's like, Are you sure he wasn't rescuing them? <laughs> like Sir, what are you Oh my Sir? I hope you sent me into that foul gumbo to collect facts about its chemical composition, and not because you intend to eat it. It's well past its prime, you see. Noted. Thanks for your report. Any time, sir. <laughs> Yeah, the spoon's actually, the spoon's like the most important piece of equipment in the game, believe it or not. And we have to, we have to get 30 different spoon reactions. Greetings. I am Shay of Laruna. Curious. If I wasn't traveling through space, 
Then why are you speaking in an alien tongue? <laughs> Judging by your outfit, I assume you're the leader of this place? <laughs> I'd love to talk more, but I need to go help my parents right now. What if that whistling sound is actually something caught in his throat? Maybe I could fish it out with this. Sir, you are more likely to force the object further down his throat if you attempt that. I recommend a sudden constricting pressure to the abdomen instead. Trust me, choking prevention is my business. So there we go. So we need sudden constricting pressure and we know where that is. This game, it's so good. All this stuff, like this snake that just gets set up in the last act with a different character. Oh, the, the tree is coming later, but we can't talk to him. Uh, next video. I will see you guys for that. Bye, everybody.